49ers lose at home to the Arizona Cardinals. 24-23. And this ranks up there as one of the worst regular season losses I can remember at any time as a 49ers fan. That is not being a prisoner of the moment. That is not an overreaction. And we've had two of those this season. Two in three weeks. I really don't know what to make of this football team, but they lost to a bad Arizona Cardinals football team. What what can I say? This is a team that does not have much talent. I think they are fairly well coached. That's yet to be seen with a young team and a coach that doesn't have a lot of experience as a head coach. And it reminded us of a lot of games this season. And even going back to last week, settling for field goals. You're down there, as Tom Brady said in this game, in the red area, in the red area, or the red zone. And the 49ers, instead of punching it in, were kicking field goals. They only had one offensive touchdown in this game at home against the Cardinals. How many players can the average NFL, even in somewhat informed NFL fan name on the Cardinals defense besides Buda Baker there was no pass rush that the Cardinals defense had yet the 49ers struggled to score Brock Purdy this was not a good game for him the first half he was pretty good Uh, the second half well there's a ball that was deflected for an interception you had the ball that was intercepted at the end of the game ended the game where his elbow was hit ball flies up in the air intercepted game's over but you look at him he was inefficient one touchdown two interceptions it was the mistakes Jordan Mason fumbled but I'm not gonna get on Mason he had a very good game and how many times was he getting hit in the backfield where the 49ers offensive line was losing the 49ers offensive line was constantly losing in the run game they did fine when it came to pass protection but in the run game they were not good Brand Ayuk showed up that was a positive Debo Samuel had really no impact on the game. George Kittle was okay, but Kittle's been really banged up. We'll get back to the offense. The defense, not a lot of pressure. And Leonard Floyd has just disappeared since week one. I think Nick Bose overall was good. Of course, he's getting doubled often. He had an interception. I feel, although the defense wasn't great by any means, they were okay in this one. Fred Warner was playing hurt. I mean, overall, the secondary was good. I mean, the only real terrible play was the Kyler Murray run to start the game. Then the defense settled in, settled down. And it was just the offense. That's who I put the blame on, Kyle Shanahan. Of course, I'm putting the blame on him. There's many things he does well, but a lot of times there are not the adjustments with Kyle Shanahan's offense that you would like to see. It doesn't happen. And you see often it feels that the opponent makes more adjustments at halftime than he does. The 49ers get off these quick starts and then... There's a failure to make adjustments in the second half. And when we were talking early in the season and even previewing the season, my point was this has to be an offensive-led team. This has to be a team that is carried by their offense because they're not the same on defense, and clearly they're not the same on defense and they really miss Dre Greenlaw the defensive line is not the same I mean it wasn't the same last year it's weaker this year the secondary is 
average. And the special teams is a big problem. And Jake Moody getting hurt didn't help. But forget that. I'm putting this game on the offense. Special teams actually came up with a positive play. Because you think about the points they came away with and the positives in the first half. They were moving the ball on offense, but they were not punching it in. The interception by Bosa, the blocked punt that was returned for a touchdown. And I have to be critical of Purdy. I'm a big fan of Purdy. And I think Purdy is very good and he has a bright future and he's getting better. The thing is, he was dancing around there far too much. He's gotten carried away with running and scrambling. And a little bit of that is welcome but he's these last couple weeks he's doing too much of that and jordan mason was effective especially actually in the second half and the 49ers got away from running the ball and and i'm not going to overreact to him coughing the ball up that was one of many problems for the 49ers is you had three careless turnovers on offense and even at home you can't do that and I think that's the part that's really sickening about this game is this all happened at home and you are from a talent perspective you're supposed to have the coaching advantage and from a talent perspective you are so much better and superior than the Cardinals and we always just kept saying it when you're there in the first half of the game, even at the beginning of the game, it's first quarter, you have to put your foot down and let these guys know that they are not going to compete today, that they are not going to remain in this game, and they are going to lose. That's the deal. And the 49ers didn't step on their throats. They just didn't do it. The Cardinals wanted this game in the second half more than the 49ers did they played more physical and of course they avoided the mistakes out there the mistakes were just a huge problem and the fact that all of a sudden they couldn't stop James Conner running the football and that reminded us of another game that the 49ers lost at home to the Cardinals because they couldn't stop James Conner. And although he didn't rip off a big log run, he wore the defense down. And I was talking about this just after the game and saying, well, really, which game was worse? The Rams game or the Cardinals game? And I have to say this one's worse because you have with the Rams, Sean McVay, who's a proven Super Bowl coach. He is one of the best coaches in the league. Okay, he's done it. You have Matthew Stafford, who's a very good quarterback. Kyler Murray is so talented, but he's a very inconsistent quarterback and, and speaking of inconsistencies yeah the offensive play con was very inconsistent and what I appreciate about the Cardinals and I'll give them credit is they got very creative on offense and Kyler Murray did step up and he made some big plays including that fourth down conversion to uh, Harrison Jr. they simply wanted it more when the 49ers should be the team that's hungry. They haven't won Super Bowls. They have a great core of players. But this is the team that should be out there that's hungry and desperate and wanting these games. You can't just give these games away. And they've already given away two games this year. And I do think it's worse than the Rams lost. They gave that one away with a big lead well, on the road, it was a big lead. When you have double-digit lead on the road late in the game, and then you have a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. 
and you don't get it done. In this game, today's game, and the worst part about it is the 49ers were completely shut out in the second half. They came away with zero. And you're supposed to have one of the best offensive minds in football. You have Mason. You have Ayuk, who was having a great game. Debo. Jennings. Kittle. And you come away with zero points. Where is this season going? That's the question. Where is this season going? You're two and three, and I don't have a lot of confidence. I don't think the the Seahawks are that great. I don't have a lot of confidence going up into Seattle for a Thursday night game right now. Because who can the 49ers beat? Okay, the Jets were out of sorts, and Rodgers is just getting used to his new team week one, week two, week two. You lose to the Vikings, who are undefeated. Week three, you give away the game against the Rams. Week four, you beat the Patriots. The Patriots are possibly the worst team in the NFL. They are among the very worst teams in the NFL. And we found out that it was more of the question we had during the week was how good should you feel about the 49ers win against the Patriots was it more of the Patriots just being a terrible football team or was the 49ers getting back on track I said the 49ers were getting on back back on track but I admit it that the Patriots were a very bad team well it appears it was more the Patriots being a very poor team than the 49ers being back on track they have just fundamental problems and you know what the two big issues the 49ers have are it's in the trenches You can't cover that up. You can't just fix that offensive line. And Trent Williams is not playing good. Him sitting out's hurt them. Brand Ayuk sitting out's hurt them. And defensive line. And besides Nick Bosa, you have all these unproven guys, and Leonard Floyd's hardly done anything. And once again, the Dre Greenlaw injury has been a killer for the 49ers. And then they have special teams problems. They don't have a kicker now. You're two and three, and you're going to have to play a great game up in Seattle. And you need to clean up all three phases of the game and possibly now look for a new kicker in a short week. So there's a lot of blame to go around. Coaching on both sides of the ball. I put it on Kyle Shanahan. Brock Purdy was getting too cute, made some big mistakes, not getting in scoring, and then the defense not stopping the run late in the game. And I know they were worn down, but the 49ers had the ball longer. And where was the fight? They didn't want this game as much as they should have. Very disappointing, and indeed one of the worst regular season losses, even worse than the Rams game one of the worst regular season losses I've ever seen as a 49ers fan.